Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. In today's video we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze and we'll explain how to remove and replace seat belt buckle. Now, you have guys, uh, we're, we're talking about the front seat belt buckle, passenger or driver side. We'll explain how to do that on the driver side, but passenger side will be about the same procedure. Quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos guys on Chevy Cruze and every car we get at the shop. And why we do all that? Because our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel and like the video, hopefully you will find the information helpful. If you need to buy any tools, parts or anything like that for your car, we have the link in the description of the video below so you can find parts at a very affordable price guys and super fast shipping. So check it out, let's start on it now. Make sure guys you stay until the end because we will show you one trick we didn't know about it and uh, you'll be able to remove the seat without removing the pretensioner. So let me explain what we need to do now guys. So we'll demonstrate on the driver's side but passenger side is the same. I'm going to scoot the seat all the way to the front now. I mean all the way like that. Now what we're going to do after that. We are going to remove okay, a couple of bolts now that we have right here. And the bolts I'm talking about are right there okay these two bolts so that's what we need to remove and then we'll continue this one guys okay there with uh, with torque socket actually so let me show you now guys okay we are right here and i need to get a uh, this is guys a torque socket okay let me focus here quick perfect this is a torx and the size is actually torx 50 but uh we'll have guys a link for the whole set it's amazing and the bolts that we need to get loose right here now Okay, those are pretty tight by the way. Okay, I got them loose with that thing. After that, I'm going to go ahead and do them by hand. Okay, and they, they stop. Okay, why they do that guys? Because they have thread locker. So it's not easy to remove these bolts guys. Okay, this one loosen up a little bit. Now this one. So this one actually is going a little bit easier than the other side, but not much. I'm going to try to attempt to do that with a little impact, so we don't have to. One is out, one more here. Now, you guys have to have, for the next scene, your car battery disconnected and we could have probably even done that earlier disconnect your car battery at least one hour okay before you start removing the seat why because uh, we'll have to unhook the seat belt tensioners and all that stuff because um, the wiring harness because it's part of the airbag system and if you're not careful with the airbag system guys those things can kill you so now i'm going to screw the seat all the way to the back okay like that and let me see if the wiring harness is here, if we can reach it, or we'll be able to do that later. I think we'll be able to disconnect everything later. So, now, the seat, guys, does not have any bolts on the front. Check it out now. Okay, only bolts towards the back. So now I'm going to grab the seat gently, guys, because we still have the wires underneath. Lift up the rear end, pull like that, and lift up the front. Okay, and what will happen now? We're going to disconnect the seat from the okay from the floor now let me explain about that here a little bit you can see these hooks okay these hooks right there that's where it goes in the floor guys but before we continue we have to disconnect now a few things and one of them is guys we will need to disconnect our seat belt pretensioner right here that's one thing because otherwise we won't be able to remove the seat so now we are underneath now guys and we need to uh, actually go ahead and disconnect okay let me turn the light down a little bit uh, we need to disconnect that okay we need to disconnect that uh, cable right here this is for the 
Seatbelt pretensioner part of the airbag system. Okay, perfect, came out. Now, right here we have a couple of clips that I need to remove. So I'm going to uh, grab clip removal too. Okay, let me see if I can find one quick. Okay, perfect. And with that clip removal too, we're going to get right there, okay. Let me get underneath actually. Okay, check it out now. It's coming out. Only thing holding now is a couple clips. Okay, one right there. And then we have one more right here. Okay, this one, just, okay, I'm trying to get a little bit of light so you can see. This one just slides out. It's a metal clip. That cable comes out. Okay, like that. Now, right here, guys, we're going to go ahead and get that bolt loose. Okay. And that bolt will be tight. Okay, hold that thing because that is kind of like a little explosive here, guys. Okay, and it came out. We leave it like that now. So, now you can see thread locker, guys. I always use thread locker here. What we're going to do now, we're going to uh, flip the seat a little bit more up. Okay, right here I need to disconnect the wiring harness and I'm going to explain how to do that okay in just a second because uh, it's such a limited room that I cannot get to it with the camera so we actually scooted the seat all the way to the back lift it on one side okay this is it right here now uh, let me explain okay what needs to be done to disconnect that wiring harness you just grab that thing pull it out slide it out and everything comes out now we can go ahead guys actually and uh, remove that seat out of here so let's see which one will be easier coming from the front or coming from the back actually so i'm going to scoot it to the back a little bit let me see which way it's going to come out easier <coughs> steering wheel will need to come all the way to the front Yeah. And that front seat guys Okay, is out of here as you can see Maybe it will be easier to pull it out through the back door Maybe that way is the way to do it so that's the pretensioner guys, that cap opens, okay, you can see it has uh, three little bitty things that hold it, okay, in place. That cap's open and if you remove that 10 millimeter bolt now, okay, you can uh, disconnect the seat belt from the pretensioner and that way you can remove the seat with the pretensioner. Hopefully that will clarify uh, a few more things. If you need to replace the seat belt buckle, okay, you can see we got the seat out. Uh, not very complicated at all now guys, okay. You have only one bolt that you need to remove right here with the Torx 50. The same bit that we've been working on the whole time. Okay, that thing will be super, okay, super, super tight. All of these guys, they have thread locker. So you need to apply thread locker to all the bolts that we removed uh, and they have bluish cover on them. Okay, and it comes out. Now, this is the seat belt buckle. From that point on, all we have to do 
Okay, disconnect your cable. Okay, right there. Let me show you. It just okay, it just attached to the spring right there. One right here. Okay, and from there, all you have to do disconnect it here, and you have one clip that you need to remove. But you get the idea, the guys. Pretty much we're done. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos, and see you guys next time.